Thanks a lot, uh, Jacques, for this very nice uh, introduction. I appreciate it a lot. Can you hear me all? Yeah, OK, my microphone is working. Uh, thanks, I, I'll have the same for you tonight. Uh, you, you are really, uh, really nice. And, and Jacques is also uh, an expert in network visualization, so uh, uh, I will talk under his supervision too. Um, so today, uh, as we discussed this morning, um, I'm really happy to be here. I'm trying to push more and more about um, uh, new topics in visualization, and um, I think it's really an important thing because we need to understand data, and data comes at a, at a huge uh, rate, uh, and it's getting more and more complex to understand, but we need to understand it. And yet, um, I see this gap between what we need and what tools people use uh, for their everyday life and everyday work, and I get frustrated, so I think it's my role to try to push uh, more new tools and explain how to use it, why, and, uh, and how you, you could, you could uh, either uh, get uh, more productive work done or, or help us creating new uh, visualizations. So in this particular talk, I will talk about uh, networks. Uh, I've been working on networks for, for a long time. And of course, the work I'm going to show today is mostly the work of my PhD students, uh, because that's the way it works. PhD students do the work. I put my name on the end of the paper, and I sometimes give them some advice. Um, but uh, the credit is, uh, is theirs, of course. So uh, let me start slowly, because I know there is some people in the audience who are really uh, under, uh, very knowledgeable about visualization and others less. So I would start slowly. Sorry for the ones who know everything about visualization. I'll get to the most more uh, advanced things of, toward the end. You can see some pictures of things that we are doing at the Avis Group. We al also do some small, small robots for doing uh, physical visualizations now. We do a lot of, of things. It's a lot, a lot of fun to work there uh, with a lot of different kinds of things and very nice people. So if you want to visit and you are in Paris, come and say hi. Uh, I'll be showing you the lab. So just to start with, let me um, first clarify a point. When most of you, I would say, hear about visualization, I think what they have in mind is that visualization is used for communication. And if you go to Wikipedia, uh, visualization is basically explained that it's a, a technique for creating image diagrams or animation to communicate a message. But that's not what I will be talking about today. I will be talking about information visualization. And information visualization is, even in Wikipedia, uh, described as not being about communication, but 